the Orthopedic Center of Illinois Sports Desk. Defeating Michigan was a huge step for Illinois, but now it's time to focus on the next challenge, and it's a big one. Defeating number one Oregon on the road. And the Ducks opened up as a massive favorite. Illinois is a 25-point underdog to Oregon. The Ducks are historically known for those explosive offenses, but also exploding eardrums. The stadium and their fans are super loud, and since 2018, Oregon has just lost one game at home. Uh, everybody from A to Z talks about how loud the environment is, maybe the loudest place in the country. Uh, if not, it's one of for sure. And, uh, you know, I thought we handled it really well. Our first opportunity, the second opportunity, we didn't handle as well. And so it's going to be important for us to be able to handle it. And we'll practice that moving forward for the game. And Illinois has faced good quarterbacks this year, and they played well against them. They beat Dylan Raiola in Nebraska. They held Drew Aller in Penn State's passing game in check. But what about Oregon quarterback Dylan Gabriel? Is he the most talented quarterback we've probably seen? Probably so. You know, and it's not just because of his skill set. I think it's a combination of what he can do in the pocket, what he can do when he leaves the pocket, the, 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 the player who he's handing the ball off to, and the guys who he's throwing the ball to. And under Brett Bielma, Illinois football is on its best run in over three decades. And other programs, they want to get a piece of it. There are probably a half a dozen guys on our roster that were offered probably double the amount of money, if not triple the amount of money that, that afforded here. And they turned it down because they know what they're being developed to be. I always say NIL money is great. The I stands for instant. Uh, and NFL money, the F stands forever. And Bielema hopes that recent football success can help increase that NIL donor money to help fund recruiting and retaining the best players as possible. Currently, Illinois is one of the lowest funded in the Big Ten. In the high school football regular season's almost here, and teams are scrambling to lock up a playoff spot in 2024. And the bubble watch for local high school teams, they could pop after this week. The rule of thumb is that you need five wins to stay in contention for that coveted bid. Over in the Big 12 Conference, Champaign Centennial sitting at 4-4, four and, four, and this week they travel to play Bloomington, who's 6-2. and two. In the Apollo Conference, we got multiple teams on the bubble. Effingham is 500, and they need a win this week to crack that mark. And they need to get that offense back on track after back-to-back -back shutouts. And finally, Taylorville's 4-0, but this week they may have caught a break. They were supposed to play the Missouri-based TDW Academy, but according to that website, they canceled their football season. Taylorville's still waiting for that final confirmation, but if so, they would win via forfeit and get to five wins. And I'll do it for sports. I'm Carson Gordy. Have a great night. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.